what what have they done outside of the bloodline? Like these guys are not these guys would not have a job if it wasn't for <laughs> nepotism. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta, you gotta go look them up. You gotta go and look at some of the stuff they've done um, and on the independence to really understand their characters now. Uh, Jacob Fatu, he, he's a phenomenal guy. Um, the Gorillas of Destiny, they, they've done a lot of stuff with the Bullet Club and, and Japan and all that. So you really have to go back and look at the stuff they've done outside of WWE to kind of understand what their character is now and why they're, they're, they're how, how the commentators say certain things about them whenever they mention their name um, during, you know, during the show. I, I get what you're saying, but if, if if I'm LP, if I'm just a casual watcher, right, and I'm not into the indie scene, and I don't know these guys, why should I care other than if they're bloodline members? Now, Jacob Fatu, he came in, and he really showed and proved. I'm not familiar with Tonga Loa and, T- and Tama Tonga. And, and their work, to be honest with you, I know they were in the blood uh, in the Bullet Club. Um, but then I started <laughs> when I started digging back for Tonga Loa. Most of his stuff was like botches. Like the only thing that <laughs> I saw a collection of botches that he also included when he was trying to. Uh, I think he was trying to low blow Kevin Owens and ended up hitting his brother in the head. You know what I'm saying? Like. Um, I haven't. Re- he hasn't impressed at all. So I'm trying to figure.